For a little setup, I was a petite 410, 411, 13-year-old girl when this happened. My friend Danny, who is only a couple months older than me, so he was 13 at the time. However, he was a bit tall for our age group. Sam was 15, he was shorter than Danny, but as a whole, we were an innocent group. Several years ago, my friends Danny, Sam, and I were walking our area. We used to hang out all the time before Danny and I moved away from the area. We lived in an area with canals, and though we'd never walked them before the day that prefaces this situation. We had gone out in that day as normal. I had decided we should walk the canals just to hang out and goof around. The canals are positioned so they are in the backyard of these apartment buildings. The buildings themselves are on one story tall and are all in a row. They have a parking lot and then two or three more rows of buildings. These houses are also pushed close together and some are attached to each other. They also have these green rooms in the back. They had like screen walls, like the screens on a window. We had started from the bridge that went over the canal and walked all the way to the end. The woman that lived in the end building came out and chatted with us. She was an older lady and told us we could come hang out in her backyard anytime and offered us some money to do yard work for her. She told us to knock on her door when we came over to let her know. So we went back maybe two days later. We knocked and she didn't answer, so we went to her backyard to chill. At some point, I suggested that maybe she didn't hear us and we went back to the front door. We sent Sam up and made him knock. The nice lady's neighbor had poked his head out of the window curtain. Sam and I both saw him and turned to look. I had barely managed to get a good look at him when Danny said, We need to go to the backyard now. So the three of us went to the backyard before either of us could ask what was up. Danny said something along the lines of, That guy had a gun. So we all began to panic. I myself had seen a dark object in his hand that, barely looking, seemed like a TV remote. Halfway through our talk about what to do, the guy went and sat in his green room so we were in view. He still had his gun with him. We went to the side of the lady's house to try to figure out what to do. At some point, we decided leaving was the best option. So we left. We had scooters with us and took off across the parking lot. On our way out, we were crossing the lot and a car almost hit me. I'm not going to describe the car in detail because I can only remember that it was silver. This car pulled up to the guy's house and that was all I saw before we turned the corner and were taking off towards a church we frequented. We turned into the church's parking lot and went to the back. We kept checking around the corner of the building and we saw the silver car drive by maybe five times. It was definitely the same car. I very vividly remember seeing the same make and model drive by. The first time could have been a coincidence, but you don't see the same car drive by five times without it being suspicious.